coach Sheldon Harrison. There never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right. L D W M M A C. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys. So Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. Uh, she's returned home from Brazil, and um, you know Randa wasn't feeling well. So she went to a coronavirus testing center to go have herself tested, and they refused to test her. So Randa then went on to explain that, hey, you know, I've been in Brazil, been out of the country, and I've been around hundreds of people, uh, you know, and I'm not feeling too well. Can I get tested? They still turned her away. So Randa, you know, went ahead and decided to self-quarantine. Um, yeah, you know, Randa, and I was worried because when I saw, you know, Randa at the beach, you know, through Instagram, I began to get worried. I'm like, yo, that's a lot of people in Brazil, you know, and, uh, you know, on the beaches of Brazil, it's inevitable. Like there are lots of people there. And I started wondering, you know, and that's the first thing I thought in my head when I saw that photograph is, is she going to get sick? And, uh, you know, then I thought about her going into the airport and I thought about XA Gucci 23 being at the airport, thought about him too. Um, you know, is, is he going to get sick, you know, on the way back home? Uh, but, you know, Randa apparently got sick and she's decided to self-quarantine herself for two weeks. Um, and I think that's a smart move. And also, too, the good thing in Randa's case is that Randa, she's a pharmacist. So Randa can get whatever prescription that she would need to to help deal with some of the symptoms. So, you know, Randa is, is, a, is, is she's a pharmacist. OK, that's what she does by trade when she's not fighting. Um, I hope she isn't sick. And, you know, I hope that you know she does get time to recover and I also tell some people too that you know when you call for sneeze uh, sometimes in some cases it's not the coronavirus you know allergy season is really kicking in and uh, you know there's a couple of people here that they got tested and you know it was their allergies it wasn't the coronavirus so it's, it's kind of weird man you know people are they're really in people are very very afraid and you know rightly so because this virus is spreading and it's spreading rapidly and you know they want people to, to stay home you know they just want people to stay in you know for a 14 day period and people they're just having a, a hard time doing that you know even the younger people man they saw uh, that beach with all those people in Miami and you know one guy he came on and said well I'm not gonna let a coronavirus stop me from partying and you know, it's just, I don't know, man, just the level of just like social ignorance or, you know, social disregard for anybody. It's just crazy, you know, um, you know, but in Randa's case, I hope that, you know, she isn't sick. I hope that, you know, whatever she's dealing with, I hope she recovers, um, you know, and I, and I think she will, you know, Randa, you know, takes, you know, she takes, you know, health seriously. Uh, she's a big fan of CBD oil, which I am too. Um, and using CBD oil is is a great thing and I, I use it every day as also a part of my you know my immune system because CBD oil ginger cucumbers kale all those things can help boost your immune system and uh, you know I was telling and it was funny uh, Tay Tay Brown was asking me about this the other day and you know I was talking about ginger root you know I, I put a clove of ginger root in my mouth I'll cut a slice off and um, I'll go out the day like during flu season I put a clove of that in my mouth and keep it throughout the day. Number one, the benefits are it does, it burns your throat to death, but it actually heightens your immune system. And then two, um, it uh, stops you from being hungry. You know, it's it, you, I chew on it like chewing gum. And I guess the enzymes of ginger actually curves your appetite because I know when I'm chewing on a piece of ginger, I don't really want to eat. I don't feel like eating. Um, you know, I'm like, damn, this ginger root is something, something serious. But yeah, you know, but, uh, you know, back to the story, um, Randa, you know, I just, you know, it, it, it's, yeah, everybody that went to UFC Brazilia, they're at risk, okay, uh, Kevin Lee, you know, all the fighters that was there, you know, every last fighter, uh, you got, you know, Bay Malecki, um, you know, uh, Veronica Macedo, all of these people, they're at risk. Um, they're at a huge risk and they took a risk for the team you know they took one for <laughs> the team so I'm thinking to myself now if they let Randa go after all of this then yeah you can definitely say Dana White don't give a damn about his fighters uh, and you know because Dana was on here running his mouth to me I care about my fighters you don't know me you don't know anything about me and blah 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 and blah 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 okay well then let's see let's see if you keep Randa on okay because uh, Randa took one for the team here Dana 
she took one for the team. Um, you know, um, and shout out to Randa Quiet Storm Marco. Y'all know, y'all know I mess with Randa heavy. Y'all know I mess with her heavy. Uh, y'all know I'm a fan. And, uh, you know, Randa, you know, definitely messes with this channel. You know, R Randa messes with me. Uh, you know, Randa is an, a, an amazing person and fighter. So, uh, you know, definitely want Randa to get well. And, you know, when things subside, you know, we'd be able to resume what we were doing. Um, you know, guys, I'm just here. You know, don't get into a panic, guys. Don't panic. Things are going to return back to normal. They're going they're gonna to do it, guys. And even in, in a matter of months, a month or two, the virus is going to begin to taper off because people are going to recover. And I think that what people, what media is not telling you, they, they don't want to talk about the people that recover. It's been about, what, over, I think, 100,000 people, they've actually recovered from the coronavirus. Guys, people are going to recover. It's just a matter of time. Time. And that's what people just don't seem to like to do. People don't seem to like to wait. Everybody want it now. Everybody. We all want it now. Alright guys, tell me what you're thinking in the, in the comment section. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.